Hello YouTube, um, this is Andrew here. I've done a fresh install of, of Ubuntu 13.04 and um, that's because um, I foolishly tried to install Windows 7 onto my Dell XPS 13 so I could dual boot but um, I had issues just trying to get it to install because it said that it couldn't find the drivers for the device drivers which apparently is a common <clears throat> which which um is it it's a common thing so I hear because um I I have been trying to install install it from a USB and somehow the ISO had gone wrong and was had gone corrupted or something had become corrupted or something so I just gave up anyway you know I think personally if you're going to still have Windows um installed on a Linux machine is to is is install that in VirtualBox. That's my tip for you. Anyway, so today I'm showing you how to install Word um, 2010 as well as all the rest of the Microsoft 2010 Office Suite on 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 the late, on the latest version of Ubuntu 13.04. So pretty much, first off, you need to get Play on Linux. So just Google that. Go to the home page. <coughs> Sorry, I'm pretty bad at aiming with the cursor. Then I'd like to download Play on Linux and just go to, go to the download page. So I'm doing it I'm doing this from from scratch now to show you step by step how how it works. So they have this they have they have they have, they have a um a version of this in the software store, but um it's a bit older though. This is the most, the most recent one. So I, I advise you to use this one because it's more recent, it's more up to date. So um, so copy each of these things line by line into terminal. So right click and paste. Enter password. Okay, so that's done. That's just for a key. So it can can store properly. This is one lit line here. So copy that. Whoops. I'm making sure I do it properly because you have to make sure it's properly done proper. Sorry. Um, paste. Enter. So that's good. And next, you want to do update. So this just updates your system, um, you know, the sort of sort of list of packages you have installed in your system and stuff. Since since mine is is sort of reasonably clean, I don't have much in, installed in there yet, apart from sort of default and the updates they have to install first off. So this won't take long, as you can see, it's done. I've just changed the um sort of um, theme. And the icons that sort because I can't stand the default themes and icons because they're really ugly. I think. Now just go and install Play on Linux. Enter. So it says <coughs> this will take up 79, 79 megabytes. So I say yes, I want it to I want it to do that. Now you wait a little while while it does this. <coughs> This won't take long, as you can see, it's going pretty fast. <coughs> Tells you how far it is here in the bottom, bottom left of terminal. So almost there, aren't we? That's pretty good. Updating packages, all the stuff. These things aren't. These things are not important for. For you to know it's just that it checks it and it takes care of that for you so you don't have to worry and now it's done or done now see if you um go and run play on linux now oops play play on linux now yeah 
yes, we won't do that, I guess. C says you have to install curl. So, what you want to do is go here, sudo apt get install curl. Because for some reason, that isn't installed by default, which is super lame. So, right click, paste, sudo apt hyphen get install curl. Install that. That won't take long. All done. If you try it again, it will work. Okay, here's I have to install Wine. See, normally, from my experience, if you install Play on Linux, it installs Wine for you, which is very useful. First time use, that's fine. Next. <coughs> Microsoft fonts are installing, that's fine. So you have to do all this for it to work properly, so you can't rush it, okay? Even though you, you might want to, that's fair enough, but you shouldn't do it, you, sh you shouldn't rush it. Especially if, you, especially if you have slow internet, just have some patience. Make sure that your power settings um, are set so you won't go on screen brightness here. And make sure that this is unticked and the screen turns off never and it never locks. So if you have slow internet, just leave it, leave it there and it will install all this for you and it could take some time, So, that, but that's fine because now you've changed it in the power settings and the brightness settings so the computer won't go to sleep. Because if it goes to sleep or, you know, logs you off or something, that might interrupt the installation process which you don't want because it means you have to do it again which is a waste of time <coughs> so I'm showing this for you from scratch because people have had had issues in my previous video showing you how to install um, Word and stuff in Linux so that's saying it's worked now so that's good that's good. Now it's just updating Play on Linux. It tells you the things you can and can't install through Play on Linux. Of course, if your game or program isn't listed there, that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean they can't install it, install it through Wine necessarily. It just means that there's no, you know, sort of wizard thing to go to show you through it. Anyway, so. Take out your disk for Microsoft, for Microsoft Office 2010 or the ISO disk image. Put that in your optical drive. It will speed up and it will read that for you. And it will show up here. The disk will come up up here showing you that it's um that it is melted. Or oh, even here, even. I haven't changed many of the settings yet from default, so some things aren't as I had them previously. So you go just press on install here. Now it's updating the wizards as I said as I said before, it's updating the wizards and stuff. So that's fine. So pretty much you have accessories, you have development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, other and patches I guess for programs that you want to patch. <clears throat> so this is just a bunch of step-by-step um, -step sort of wizards that make it that make the installation process much easier than if you use Wine by itself which you can do but you have to you know play around play around with settings and figure it figure it out yourself which is time time which is time consuming So this video may take some time because I'm going through it step by step to show you. Because I know myself that, you know, these things can be annoying to learn if you're by yourself. But um, you can always Google stuff though and go on YouTube and that sort of thing. 
So you go on to Office. So we have 2010. So you click that one. And you press Install. Yep, so leave the default location. Do not tick the checkbox, run the program if asked. So keep that in mind. So it's going through through the process now. Yep, that's all good. Fatal error. Please install wine bind before okay, fair enough. I'm not sure why it's saying that. Normally it's fine. It may be that you have to update Play on Linux. So I'm just going to go into the update me menu. Software update. So, so I'm going to update that now. So it's all good. to update in terminal <coughs> so it's these things which can happen which are annoying so that's why I'm showing it, show, showing it to you now step by step Play on Linux. Cannot find Wine. See, normally it installs Wine for you. I bet if you go to Manage Wine, it will install Wine. It it will detect that it's not there. Okay then, I guess we I guess we we have to install one separately. Let's go to install go to Wine HQ. Install the latest Wine. Close Play Linux. So for Ubuntu, that's that's what you want there. For Ubuntu. So, so Ubuntu has it in the software repositories that um that normally means the um software store, the Ubuntu software center. But if you want the up to date ones, follow these instructions. You can do it through the um software sources. Ah, sorry. My fingers. Or, or you can do it through the terminal, which is faster a lot of the time. So copy that. Actually, let's see what they have in the software store. Let's see what version they have here. The meta package. One point four is a stable one. Yeah, the meta package is that the actual wine or is this wine? You see, these things you have to think about. Uh, 
anyway I'm going to do it this way I'm going to go and copy that put it in terminal oh sorry that's not for terminal that's for software sources See, normally if you just install it in terminal, it's easier. So I'm going to do that now. Here we go. This is the most recent one, 1 1.6, as we saw on the website. It's more like it. Terminal. Yep, yeah, sudo apt get repository. You can't just type in a PPA, obviously, that isn't going to work for you, is it? So, yes, I want to add that. <coughs> Scan the key for it, that's good. Then you want to update the system. sudo apt get update. Ah, sorry. For some reason my fingers aren't working very well on the keyboard. Right click, paste, update. The trackpad, sorry. See, on the Dell XPS 13, it's a very good machine, but the trackpad is a bit different. There's no like physical difference between the buttons for right click and left click, which is confusing if you are not used to it. Install this. That's done. Install. Yes. So that was 500 and something megabytes. How much was it? 540 megabytes, which I'll be taken out by it. So make sure you have that much free on your computer. So it probably takes some time to install, so have some patience. You've got to have patience. Otherwise, we'll do it wrong and then it won't work. So you must have patience. So, 12%. I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be back when it's finished doing that. Hello again, YouTube. So, it's finally finished, in, it's finally finished downloading Wine 1.6 and now it's updating and unpacking packages now. Just thought I'd let you know. So, here we go. This is the um for the um fonts for Microsoft fonts. Just go down the bottom. Just press OK. Um how do I press OK? Oh, I press tab. Do I set the license? Then you say yes, you do. Good. Now it's storing the fonts. I'm not sure how long that will take. Um, hopefully it won't take very long. <coughs> there we go, again the fonts from Soul Soulforge.net. All the various fonts. You have Ariel, you have you have a comic. Perhaps that, that is, is Comic Sans, <laughs> the best font ever, or not, that's fine. 
I think it's pretty well. It's got it's got a bad rap, doesn't it? I just press pause again while it does this. Be back in a second. Hello again. So it's finished downloading all the fonts and setting up and updating all the business. All the business. So that's good. Now it says to you to install Wine Tricks, which is useful if things go wrong. So copy that, paste that in terminal, enter. Okay. Apparently it's all already been stored, so that saves time, I guess. That's fine then. So we'll just minimize that. Minimize Voco screen. So if we go to Play Linux again, this time it might be more uh, more uh, cooperative, hey, won't it? That'd be nice. Then go to Manage Wine Versions, and it should show us the version of Wine we have installed, which it is not doing because it's being lame. Don't know why. Anyway. <coughs> should show you what wine you have installed there. I tell you what, to be totally safe, let's just do an update. Just quickly. Just so it's all happy. bit of a cold right now YouTube so hence I'm coughing a lot lots of phlegm aren't you glad I told you that yep I bet you are why don't we update it through the through the Ubuntu so sort of GUI interface too so it's doubly happy because um you don't want to go through all this you see just to find out that you haven't updated it and things are not on their most recent version and stuff because that would be annoying so you must always have patience <coughs> when you're doing this sort of thing it's probably up to date though anyway yeah see so up to date so it's fine so back to play on Linux <coughs> refreshing play on Linux it's fair enough So install, we want Office, we want 2010, very good, next, so I, I have a DVD, so that's what I have, next, um, the CD is called Office 14, so that's the one. Reading your device. So this the um, DVD is spinning around, CD, whatever, spinning around, being read by Play on Linux. It's making a virtual drive. It's, for some reason, for some reason, it's downloading Wine. I don't know why it's doing that. Because I already have Wine, don't I? But you know, whatever. Do what you got to do. I'm gonna pause this while it does that. So, downloading wine, extracting wine. This won't take long, hopefully. Uh, it's going to download something else. Gecko, wine, gecko. Why don't we just hang around here because this is just 17, 17 megabytes, which isn't very much. This is a dot MSI, which is an installer type. For Microsoft, for Microsoft Windows, sorry. So that's why you have to install it in Play on Linux or in Wine because it's a Microsoft um, installer.
So some point we might get there. Wine configuration, yep, that's all good. Wine's updating. That's fine. Virtual drive has been created, that's good. That's the um, virtual drive for Windows programs that you can install. So it just um, it gives it the file structure of um, of Windows with a C drive and program, you know, files program, all that business. Because um, it tricks it into thinking that it's Windows, but it's not. Obviously, it's still Linux. It just gives it the file structure that it expects, so it can install things properly. So, and net, yeah, that's all good. So yeah, these are things you have to have patience for, so it works properly. So the dot, so the dot net framework 2.0 is something for Windows as well. Which is why I use Play on Linux and Wine, so it thinks it's Windows. And obviously it isn't, is it, is it of course. I'm just going to pause this while it stores all this, you know, business here. I'll be done when we get somewhere, okay? Okay, YouTube. We are finally getting somewhere. This is the installer for Microsoft Windows. Oh, sorry, Microsoft Office Plus 2010. So while I install the product, the product key here, I'll pause it again because... That secret, isn't it? So we'll be back in one second again. So that's all good. I've put in in the product key, so that's all working. This is all just you know agreement business. So you press continue, and you press install now. Just make sure nothing else is up there. So yeah, that's all good. Just press install now, and it will install Microsoft Office 2010. Good, good. Hopefully, this is all un understandable for you. If it's not, please post a comment, and I will try to help you. <coughs> of course, I I I don't know everything. You know, I'm just some guy. I'm just trying to you know, because I've I've used Linux. Um, in particular, I have used Ubuntu and 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 Linux Mint for two or three years now and um, I found so much help personally just by doing googling and um, and people have so much stuff that they've made and shown how people how to do things various guides and YouTube videos which is very helpful and I thought I might as well you know give something back because that's what a community is all about hey eh? so I'm led so I'm led to believe so Installing all the business here. This won't take long. So yeah, even though I I have the Dell XPS 13, this this machine has no op, has no optical just has no optical disk drive. The same way that the Mac Book Air has no optical disk drive. So I got um an external one that plugs into if you USB port at the same time, which works the exact same way as a built-in one. It just means that if you, because you know, you don't need to have a CD-ROM or DVD disk drive every day, do you? I mean, how often I are you going to install a program off a disk? If you're like me, it's not very often. I mean, there's a great deal of stuff, as we've shown you, available on the, um, software center or that can be installed through terminal through um, a few sort of so copy and paste commands <coughs> they can find online so it really just takes up more room on your machine and if you're carrying around a laptop it just adds more weight which you don't want so that's why I got the that's why I, got, I went for the Ultrabook, which is, which has a solid-state drive too, an SSD, which means it's quick. 
um, this one has um, this one this one CPU is an is a, a generation to um, as i5 it is one of the i5s and it is of course from Intel as most are so it's fairly fairly recent although now they have the generation three ones which are called Haswell or something like that anyway I'm, I'm gonna pause it now because it's taking a while so I'll be back in a second hey would you know it as soon as, soon as as soon as I press pause, it was done. So, huh. I'm going to press close now because that's done now. <coughs> it says please wait while that's installed. So I'm I'm going to wait because it's good if you play it safe. If it says wait, you probably should wait. And there we go. Downloading extra stuff again. MSXML6, whatever that means. Something I'm sure that's vitally important. And there we go. There's all the shortcuts for your programs. So that's great. Next. And it's all done. That easy. So what I do is I go into my folders. I make a little new folder. I call it Applications. Same as you would have in Mac OS. I grab these, I dump all them in the applications folder. So <coughs> if I double click on Word here, it should open Word for us. There we go. Enter your name, yeah, fine. Fine. That's my name. And there you go, Microsoft Word. Um, you don't want to update, so you just tell them to get lost. Close that. Because if you if you want to update it, you have to update it through the um, through Wine. So what you want is don't make changes and okay. And there we go, Microsoft Word is working. And there you go. There's Excel, open Excel. Excel is working. You can do all the Excel business here. Don't save. You can close now if you like. You have one note, which I think sometimes is buggy for me. But I'm going to reject the disk now. And that's the end of our class. And if you need help, just post a comment. I'll be more than happy to help you as much as I can. And because you, because um, because you know, I I'm studying. I I'm studying. I'm studying. IT now, in Brisbane at QUT, and I find this to be good experience. Anyway, thank you and goodbye. So.